Hello and welcome to my night channel. Um, well this video is basically how I got rid of pen wrap on my GEC 71. I had noticed uh, that um, I was getting it. If you look at this pen right here, which happens to line up on the bull nose, it happens to line up right about there. And if you don't know what a pen wrap is, it's when you close, you see that? I've, I basically have fixed it now, but it was lining up right over here. So when you close the blade, let it just fall, it would line up with that bull nose, all right? Now, normally, you just sit here, this is a fine diamond stone, um, I just sit here and file out the, the pin wrap, you know, and if it's not significant depth going down there it'll be like a dish shape you know like a half moon shape where it's hitting um sometimes that'll correct it just basically take removing that much metal you know will correct it but what you really need to do is get down in there you see how all that shiny and polishy because i basically took some emery cloth this one happened to be 320 grit and a popsicle stick i took my little toothpick and I whittled down because it wouldn't fit I mean it, it's all right right now but if you put any emery cloth on it you're not going to have enough distance to fit a popsicle stick in there and I wanted something that would um, fit in because it kind of goes in kind of hard and then um, I just want to polish that raised area on the pen I was just going back and forth now because this is 320 grit and it's just a small area on there this, you see how it's shiny? I don't know if this thing will capture this. See how that's shiny? That's the metal you're removing. So it clogs it up after a while. You just push them back and forth. So I would take this uh, toothpick again and uh, just scrape off some of the, you know, metal flakes and go back at it again. And uh, I use some super glue gel to help hold this on. And this strip here is really small. You just have to experiment with it. If you if you, if you make it too wide, you're not going to be able to fit it in there. And you don't necessarily need the whole length. I mean, I guess you could if you pushed it down like that. This, like I said, this is just an experiment. I just tried this edge, but you could probably it would secure just as easily. If you just put it like this and ran it along, you can't, I mean, you, you're just going to have to remove more wood, you know, you're just going to have to whittle a little bit more popsicle stick off uh, to cut the width down to accommodate what you're going to put in there. Anyway, it's kind of tedious. Um, uh, I had tried on other knives before a round Dremel bit put in there you know thinking oh this will save time but you scratch the hell out of the liners on the side no matter what you do usually the smallest one that i can find to fit in there a lot of times is a ball shaped uh you know dremel head and getting it just on that pin and doing all right this is a much safer and it's slower but it's a safer method and you're just trying to file that hump down a little bit you're taking metal off of this back spring just on this little hump it's not going to change the tension or the closing of the knife at all or anything and this thing's got a strong drop on it um normally you know there's basically a couple of ways you can get around you can try to file it down you can work on the real source of the problem which is this sticking too high you can try to raise the kick but when you raise the kick you you're raising the tip of the knife and if it gets too high, it gets proud, you'll start getting to the point where you can cut yourself on it. And a lot of times, you don't need to raise it up by much. Sometimes that'll be fine for you. 
The only thing is, whatever you put on here, like super glue, glue gel or whatever, to build that up, eventually it's going to fall down and wear off. This is a more permanent fix, probably a more proper fix. But yeah, just a little quickie there of um, all the ingredients you need. Popsicle stick, uh, super glue, and some emery cloth. This one happened to be 320. They make different grits. This one's a little bit kind of polishy. Um, I could probably go with a, th a thicker grit. Remember that on, on the grit, it's the higher the number, the finer polishing it's going to be. The lower number, the more coarse it's going to get. So we wouldn't want 320, probably a little bit less than that if you want to take it off a little bit faster. Because we're not really necessarily needing to try to polish this, but remove metal. And uh, the the bigger grit you've got in there, the bigger chunks you've got, and the more you can go back and forth, you know, without having to clean it as much. Well, see, yeah, a little toothpick come handy. I was using a toothpick, turning it side, like this and going back and forth um, with some emery cloth down there. But because this tip is so pointy, it would wind up digging in and starting to scratch. So that's why I decided, yeah, popsicle stick would probably be the better method. And uh, just be careful. You know, you've got a naked blade up there when you're doing this. But if you're just careful with it and patient, just go back and forth. Um, you're just attacking the area that needs it. This thing's all bouncing around. You're just attacking the area that needs it, and uh, it's a slow process. But you don't need much. A lot of times, you just there might be just a little burr sticking up there, just a little bit of the height on there. And just to get different angles on it, like this one, it seems to be concentrating on this side of the stick. If I go this way in here, it'll get on the other side. And that's all you got to do. The more raised up that is, the more diff you know, the longer you would have to do that. The less raised up it was. Um, when this one dented, it didn't go all the way back to the the edge of the grind there. The indentation, the deepest part of the indentation, was just on the very edge of the knife itself. It's really hard to see what's left of it. But yeah, I would just sit there and file on it and then drop it and then look at it real close. And then if I had anything, I'd try to bring a little bit of an edge back on this thing. Just go back and forth. File out that little cut. Do it on either side. I notice these things got more kind of a convex edge than a straight flat, you know, grind on like they were on a belt grinder. Well, this one doesn't anymore. And then uh, I look at the edge. It's best you can really see it real well with this light here. And then you let it drop. This one's got so strong you don't have to push it. And then you check the edge again. And you're looking for any, you know, reflection right where it should be. If it if that shine doesn't stay consistent, then you probably got it. But that's that fixed on this one. So yeah, I thought I'd pass that along to you. Um, when you get a when you get a blade wrap, first look where it's at, then hold the blade and let it close and look to see if there's anything that is causing that on the on the back spring. And it's usually that raised portion in there um, to accommodate the pin, I guess. You're not going to grind so much up down that you're going to actually see a you know, the brass of the pin sticking through or anything. It's usually just a little hump there. And if you grind that, you know, just file that down a little bit, it'll remove the metal from the back spring instead of the blade. And uh, the advantage of that is that's where the real problem is. It's not the problem with the blade. It's the problem with the back spring, that little hump being too high. So there you go. Thought I'd pass that one on. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.